Welcome back. It is Popular Science. I'm Alan Taylor. Carl Champley also joining us. Mike Kahn from Sony, president of the uh, ABC MDA. I don't know what the heck it's called. <laughs> PMC. PMDA. PMDA. The Photo Manufacturers. Distributors. Uh, distributors. PMDA. Yeah. We're at the uh, big photo show. This is the first, and evidently 15,000 plus pre-registered people, and it's the the aisles are packed. People want to take pictures. They sure do. Good for them, right? I mean, you're right. It's a picture is worth a thousand words. You know what it costs to text a thousand words? <laughs> <laughs> a lot more than it's a the whole lot easier. Tweet a photo. <laughs> so easy. we were talking just before the break about, yeah. you know, is cell phone photography something important? And it absolutely is important, as we just spoke, because people are doing it and taking images and sharing them. But just like you, Alan, the consumers out there experiencing the shock. When they look at the photo and they say, you know, I didn't get what I wanted. I didn't see the right quality of the image. I, I, I missed a piece of life is right. what happened. Mm. And that's where Sony really shines. So what we did was we took a mobile device, like a cell phone, and we took a DSLR, which is kind of on the other end of the scale, the big cameras. That's a pro-style pro camera. Our dad's yeah. camera. Yeah. And we married them together, and the baby they came out with is called a mirrorless camera. So that's what you mirrorless. guys are up to. The mirrorless camera looks as if you were taking a mobile phone and you were just attaching a larger lens to it. Okay. It's still very small. It's still very pocketable. And it has that large sensor size. So the sensor size that we use is almost the size of traditional 35 millimeter film, yet it literally the camera itself can fit in the palm of your hand. So it's still giving you the portability of a Which mobile phone. Which is everything. Hey, the best camera is the one you have with you. Yep. Yeah, so it right. gives you the portability and it gives you the quality and the responsiveness of a traditional DSLR. What? So we urge we we brand them NEX, the Sony NEX cameras. Okay. And, and you know, by the way, putting on my hat of the president of the photo manufacturers, Sony isn't the only one making it. We've got companies like Samsung, Olympus, Nikon, Canon. All the major manufacturers are making these cameras now. We Sony does happen to be the market leader, but they're all making them now, and it is something that I think the industry really has needed to do for consumers mm. to really push us over that next step. Yeah, I do, I do recall seeing something at CES actually about that. It was beautifully displayed where you've got the phone and you've got the little attachment on That's the right. lens. And, but you know, for Sony to be the industry leader says a lot, I think, you know, to our listeners. Let me ask you, um, what can you do with it? Can you zoom in and out like a... Exactly as Carl is indicating, what that mirrorless camera does is it still gives you interchangeable lens capability. Right. So you have a zoom lens that comes with the camera, then you can get a larger zoom lens if you're tending to shoot a lot of sports photography. You've got, you know, your kids playing soccer or hockey or maybe your, your child is doing a recital and you're, you're standing in the back of the auditorium. Wow. You add, and that is, you, Carl, you hit it, it's number one, one of the number one complaints of cell phone photography because they don't have zooms. They digitally pull the image in and you know what happens, pixelate it out, it looks like you're looking at some a cartoon image now. Yeah. So if you want that kind of quality and you want to get far away and pull that subject in, you need an interchangeable lens camera and you need a, a mirrorless camera, it's going to give you that portability of a phone with the versatility of a and, full and DSLR. And as you know, that's what people want. What, what about the price point of, of an NEX camera you're talking sure. about? Where do they start? So 10000 20000 bucks, right? No, no, no. Because no, no. <laughs> I was looking at some of those movie cameras, you guys. That's the beauty of it, is that Sony goes everything from the movie cameras we watch the best movies in the world on that's right. to this. So the technology, is there's, there's crossover. Yep. What, what's the starting point? So the NEX 3N, which is the camera we're showing here at this trade show for the first time, just start shipping into consumers. You can get it at your local camera store, your Best Buys, your Walmarts, Sony, uh, really? Sony Direct. Wow. 449 on sale with a 16 to 50 collapsible zoom lens that literally will fit in your pocket. Mm, mm, now you mm. said the NEX, what exactly? 3N. 3N. Yep. N for Nelly. Yep. NEX 3N. Go okay. to www.sony.com forward slash NEX. I'll have to check it's that out. It's the first camera you're going to see. It's the first camera that's going to be the next new camera you buy. That's right. That's yeah. why NEX. See? I'm and trying to help you out there on that marketing. You're doing a great job. We love you. <laughs> so I, I got the newest one. What, what is the one I got? I got Because I, I call it my camera. You've got an A57, SLT A57, oh which is a God. full DSLR. So I love Alan kind of went the other way. He wanted something that looked big and impressive. I want the big, big bulky thing. Yeah. Yeah. He got yeah. the Ford F-150 of digital cameras. Yeah. yeah, but it was only like $7.99, right? That's right. 
I mean, that's, that's <laughs> lens, the whole nine yards. Put it together yeah. in about three seconds, and you're taking the best pictures you've ever seen. Yeah. The great. beauty is I can hand it to my daughter, who has a photography business, and she goes and uses it like a pro. Right. Hands it back to me. I put it back on auto, yeah. right? That's right. And that's all I want. The damn camera knows how to do the things it needs to do. And I think a lot of people Smart do technology. like that auto function where... It, you know, do it for me. You do, but but just like you, Carl, in the do-it-yourself, a lot of them want to experience photography as a hobby. Well, and yeah. I urge people when they buy a camera like the NEX, get off the full program mode, go into manual mode, shutter priority, aperture priority, they're half manual modes. Learn photography as a hobby. You can take a photo so many different ways yeah, and get it's, a it's totally different experience. I'm watching my 20-year-old daughter. She started 25. out and just having fun, taking a few pictures of her friends. She's got a business now, and her phone is ringing off the hook. Oh, Emails or Facebook page is growing faster than yours and mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Popular Science Radio on Facebook. Uh, DIY Live saying? on Facebook. Uh, Sony, I, you guys got a Facebook. Sony too. on Facebook. See that? I mean, everything. It's a social world we live in these days. And you can't turn a hobby into a business if you love what you do. We'll take a break. It is Popular Science. Mike Con from Sony. Thank you, brother. Sony, make believe. We'll be right back. Ten.